Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today, we're going to do what's called UV unwrapping of the ballot box portion and then step it into Adobe Photoshop to apply a wood texture to it. And so check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is where we left off from yesterday. What we wanna do now is focus on the ballot box right here. So this is gonna be a wooden box and there's an important distinction to understand if, you've, if you're new to Blender or relatively new and you've never done what's called UV unwrapping. So these objects right here, the toilet, they're all comprised of ob objects which don't need to be UV unwrapped because they're all a solid color or a solid shader. And so they don't need to be, no custom design needs to be applied to them. So they don't necessarily have to be what's called UV unwrapped. So when it comes to the box though, because there's gonna be a texture on it, a wood texture and a decal as well, we need to do what's called UV unwrapping. And for me, when I was learning, it, it was such a pain in the ass. It was so confusing. I didn't understand what the hell's going on. So I'm gonna do my best to teach it from a perspective that you will under a beginner will understand all right so basically when it comes to uv unwrapping all that's saying is is it's saying okay let's deconstruct whatever type of element or, or object or 3d object it is into a flat 2d surface that we can then take into another application like a graphic a, a 2d application like adobe photoshop or gimp or whatever and apply the material or whatever design it is or the texture or the wood or whatever onto it in the easiest manner in the most logical manner possible and also so it will look as natural and real as possible okay so there's several different ways to uv unwrap something and so i'll just show you a couple of them and there's no right or wrong way usually uh whatever the right or wrong way is is whatever produces the most logical easy to use result basically so i'm going to go over here and click on solid and we're going to right click to select our object. Now, right now we have two different objects, but I want to join those. So we've been separating objects, but now we're going to join an object. It's very simple. So in object mode, we'll take both of our objects holding shift and right click, and then we will hit uh, control J, sorry, or command J on Mac. And then it automatically connects them. Very, very simple. Okay. So now what we want to do is go to edit mode. So you can only UV unwrap when you're in edit mode with an object. And if we were to, well, what, right now, let's go ahead and split our view. So left click, drag, and then we're going to switch to the UV image editor. This is what you do every time you try to UV unwrap something. Unless, of course, it's very simple like a plane. You don't really have to worry about it, uh, which we are going to do with the plane to make a floor later. But anyhow, what we want to do now is... All right, so by default, this square right here is usually uh, 1024 by 1024 pixels. All right, so you always want to make sure that your UV image size is a square. So if you hit new, you'll see that it's 1024 by 1024. You can name it if you wish. I, uh, I'm not just because I'm lazy. <laughs> and you can change this to 2048, and that's going to give you a higher resolution. So it's kind of important. You can also go beyond that even if you wish. All right, so I'm just gonna do it to 2048, or you can do multiplication times two, times two, very simple. Leave everything else the way uh, it currently is and hit okay. And everything changes to black, and that's because you're zoomed up. Uh, so just use your scroll wheel to zoom out, and now we can see everything. So now, if we hit A, for example, and then we hit U, so U is the key that where you access this, um, all the unwrapping options. You, you see we have s several different options here. We have unwrap, smart UV project, Q projection, cylinder, you know, whatever. Uh, let's just try unwrap, see what happens. Okay, so it unwrapped it, but what is this crap down here? I know, it's probably a bunch of stuff up here, and usually if you go into, let me drag this over here. If you go into face select mode and you'll see 
these don't look like squares like they're all messed up so let's hit a and a again to select all you can you, you can also just re unwrap things as well so that's what unwrap produced us doesn't look good what's smart uv project let's try to hit okay this looks a little bit better but still you're not sure what is where or whatever so if you were to take this export it and save it uh, as like a png with these uvs intact and bring it into photoshop you don't know where you're, what's going on here really so let's try u again let's try q projection not much better cylinder projection that's terrible sphere obviously sphere projection isn't going to work uh and then we have project from view which exactly is exactly what it says uh whatever our current view is it's projecting it from that angle and what we're looking at so if we use our keyboard uh on the number pad and hit seven for example we'll see that we'll only see the top and so if we were to hit u and then project from view we're only going to get the top view but the problem with this is is because we selected all of you know we hit a and we have everything selected whatever is designed within this area in photoshop will get applied to the, the right the bottom the, you know so it's going to be duplicated it won't look too natural so what we'll do here is just select everything on the top in the side view on the right and left the front and back and the up and down all right so very simple what we'll do now is go ahead and we'll hit we'll start with the front so hit one I'm gonna zoom up and also when we're doing this it's important that wherever you're zoomed up currently that you stay there and you don't change it uh, and you'll see why so what we want to do is only select everything that we could see I uh, on the front for this portion so we'll see that I uh, currently it's unwrapped so that's on the side it doesn't even look right I uh, I'm gonna zoom out roughly right around here and I think I will also select these faces just like that and I'm not gonna add this portion simply because it's we're not looking at it kind of straight up and down or from the top so I'm just gonna select those four faces in this and then hit U and project from view then I'm gonna hit G and then just move it over right around here all right now I'm gonna hit control one to go to the back view all right so if I turn on this we're going to be able to see the back we want to make sure we select that face hold and then turn it back off all right and then also hit shift right click to select these faces so now we have the back and the top part of this selected i'm going to hit u oops make sure you hover over the side u and project from view g and then just move it over here then we're going to hit three and this will give us the right side so just to remember this is top back and then now we have the right side select these faces holding shift and right clicking U, project from view hit G move it over here now hit control th three to get to left do the same thing holding shift U and project from view G put it over here all right so we have the front and the sides now we have to worry about the top and the bottom so hit seven right click and hold shift now we have these all selected and just temporarily I'm going to leave it like this I Actually, I'm gonna, I am going to hit you, project from view, and I'm going to scale it down a little bit right around there in the center. All right, and then hit control seven to go to the bottom. And let me come over here. The bottom should just be one face, just like that. You project from view, scale that down. G kind of put it in the center all right so now we should have 
all of the necessary faces selected. So if we hit A and A again, we'll see it looks much more manageable. So what I'll do, we can come over here and now we can select and, and play around with these and, and mess around with these. Uh, so this is the front and it looks smaller just because we only selected this face and this is the back and it looks back and it looks bigger because we have we raised to that edge up and so you can select these by hitting A and then B you can select them just like you do like in the 3D view hit G and we'll just move these over A B G a, B, just select this portion if we can. G. Now this is the top view. A, B, and this is the right, I believe. And now if you have things like this that are overlapping, you can, I believe that's a key, control L, yeah, that, I think that's it. Yeah. All right. So what I just did there is if you select a vertex that's a connected um, to a general shape or whatever, and this is also applies to 3D, uh, you select it by right clicking it and then hit control or command on Mac L. So control L, it'll select the, everything else that's connected to it. All right. So G. Now this, what this is right here is the inside. Remember we like extruded this? This is the inside. We're not going to really see it, but we'll still give it a texture. Uh, so I'm going to right-click this. Well, I'll go ahead and right-click this first. And Control-L, hit G. You know what? I'm just going to add these on top of each other because we're not going to see them really. So Control-L, right-click Control-L, G, put that in the center. And then this, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is the bottom, isn't it? Okay, so... Control L, G, probably scale it up, hit S, G, and then hit A, B, select all of these. This is the left, I believe, and G. Now you can take everything if you want, G and Z, or not. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's just X and Y, sorry about that. Would have been why. All right, so now it's ready to go. So what we do is go to UVs, export UV layout. And then what we want to do is I'm going to just choose what whatever my current working folder is. And I'm going to name this uh, ballot-uv. We're going to come down here, choose all UVs, and everything else can remain the same. Fill opacity, 25%. That means the opacity of the layer that the UVs are going to be exported on is just 25%. That'll work. Export it. And now it is ready to have some textures put onto it in Photoshop. Make sure you save what you have, by the way. Control S, save it. And I'm going to switch to Photoshop and I'm going to open up that file that we just made. File open, recent places, 127, and ballot UV. All right, so let's give a background color here real quick. Control Shift N for a new layer. Hit OK. Drag it beneath this layer zero. And we'll just rename this by double clicking it and name it UV. And I'll give it a general wood color, maybe around there. Hit OK and just fill that in. All right, so whatever is placed within these portions of the UV is what's going to be, you know, on uh, this is the front, this is the back, left, no, right and then left. And this is the top and then this is the bottom and this is some crap inside of it. So what we want to do is get a wood texture to use. So I'm going to get up my browser here and go to cgtextures.com. This is a great site. I will require a registration if you want to download any decent size resolutions, but it's free. Uh, there's also a paid version if you want like access to really massive textures. But uh, what we're going to do is just come down here to wood. And I'm going to choose plywood. 
new and we have all these different sets that we can choose from so there's no right or wrong really uh, I'm trying to remember which one that I used in the original or before I started uh, it wasn't this one but it shows you the sizes that are available here um, this is premium I'm gonna try to I'm gonna pause just so I can try to find the exact correct one okay so I've scrolled down here I think I'm gonna choose this one right here and there's a lot of different options that we can use um, so this is really not one that's 100% right or wrong um, we just want one that's definitely big enough so I think I'm gonna use this one right here and I'm going to go ahead and use, let's see here, um, the large one. So it'll let you know what's for premium members or not. So if we select that, it's going to download it. And I'm going to open up in, I'm going to show in folder real quick. I'm going to right click it. I'm off screen so you can't see this. But I'm going to right click it and just open with Photoshop. And you can see it's big. We're only at 25%. Control A, Control C to copy. And now. What we want to do is to replace this layer right here, the background, is just Control V to paste uh, that. So we're going to leave this here, and that way, when we go to add individually this texture right here, uh, if there's any edges that are missed, we'll have this as a background. Uh, so it won't be like white or this color or whatever. All right, so what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead. We can delete that layer. And actually, you know what? I'll leave it just because it fills it up up there. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to Control-V to paste once again. And Control-T will allow me to scale it down. So Shift and Alt and left click and drag. And so I'm, gonna, I'm going to make it a size that is basically as big as our biggest portion. So that would be right here. The back is like the, the biggest in terms of height uh, than any of these so as long as it can fit this I can go ahead and add it to this portion alright so I'm going to leave it right there select the move tool and hit apply alright so this is what our texture looks like so far not too impressive alright so I'm gonna leave that one right there I'm gonna call it front I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to put it over here and you don't want all the sides to look the same so there's several different things you can do so edit one thing is you can go to edit transform like flip horizontal and you can also flip it vertical if you want and you can also I'm going to come in here I'm going to hold alt and then just use my mouse scroll wheel to zoom in here and what I want to do is take this clone stamp tool and what we can do is if you hold alt left click and now we move this around we can really manipulate the texture so that it looks unique on each side and you can also get rid of these knots if you want just holding alt left click and alt left click up here and that way you just create some variety and not everything looks the same alright so now what I'll do is I'll take this front copy rename this to back I can duplicate it uh, control shift D I have I think that's a custom keyboard shortcut that I set up for duplicating layer or just right click hit duplicate layer hit OK and we'll move this one over here and also I'll delete I'll take the uh, rectangular marquee tool and then just delete that that way there's no edges showing up on any of these and real quick I'll take the clone stamp tool just to uh, make sure that nothing looks like it's duplicating on these sides alright right there and then finally we will take this rename it to right and duplicate it edit transform flip vertical I think that'll be fine and I want to make sure that my selection here is completely on 
or visible in there. So you could take this real quick, the magic wand tool, and then select outside of it. And you can see the selection, and, and it is all inside of there. So that's good. All right, that's good uh, for that portion. Now I, I'm going to call this left. Now I want to select uh, this one right here. So to select the layer automatically over here, you just control or command on Mac and left click. And this is overlapping, I believe. So delete. Okay. Now what I want to do, I'm going to take the front, duplicate it, move it over here. Just so it's on the top. Because remember, this is the top view right here all right I'm gonna real quickly duplicate that move it down I oh, don't know this there was also some a top portion of that so let me see what we have here okay so I'm gonna delete that portion And then we have the bottom. I'm going to go back to front, or no, front copy. This is actually top. This is inner, I think. And then we'll go ahead and take top, duplicate that, pull that down to the bottom. You can also see some stuff we have to get rid of the top there. All right, that's fine. All right, so now we have a completely wooden texture. Okay, so what I want to do at this point before I proceed with any type of decals or whatever is just export it without the UV layer shown. Otherwise, you'll see these UVs and it won't look good. So everything looks kind of like a mess right now, but that's expected. But it will look actually pretty cool when we come into uh, and, and get this imported into Blender. So we're already at 22 minutes. So let's go ahead and save this as a different file. So We'll go ahead and I'm just going to put save for web. And I'm just going to make mine a JPEG. It's 92%, 1.5 megs, recent places, 127. We'll call this ballot dash diffuse. And that's a JPEG. So now let's switch back to Blender. And let's go to the node editor. Now there's no, again, there's no, uh, what do you call, uh, a texture applied to this yet. So I'm going to hit tab to go into object mode. And then we're going to hit new and zoom up here. And so we're going to leave this at a diffuse because there's no like shininess or anything when it comes to wood. So diffuse will work. Shift A, texture, image texture, connect these two. I'm going to hit open and ballot diffuse. All right. With any luck, this will have worked. Let's go to rendered. All right, pretty decent. We have a lot of light, so it's kind of hard to tell the difference between the different objects, but this actually does look pretty decent uh, and realistic, which is what we want. Yeah, cool. We got our wooden box, man. It's coming along. Okay, so yeah, we're already at 23 minutes or 24, so I'm going to stop this here just for now. You already learned a lot about UV if you don't know anything about UV and so let that sink in and then tomorrow we're going to go ahead and add some decals to this and do some other stuff all right I'll see you then